I'm not desperate to be president of Nigeria. I'm desperate to see Nigeria that works for the youth. We have so much talent and energy here that can change the world. And I want to do that. That's all. As a politician, I have campaigned. I've gone around the country. I've done what I'm supposed to do. Presented myself to the people. And if I find that there's other things I might not be able to be part of, I decently withdrew myself. I keep saying, so that by winning or losing, I would rather lose doing the right thing than win doing the wrong thing. My politics have been consistent in character and integrity. Nobody has ever seen me in my political life sharing money. Kenneth Okonkwo, the campaign DG of the Ubidati Group in the 2023 presidential election, took to Twitter to announce his resignation not only from the Labour Party but also from Mr. Peter Robi. I brought you the video yesterday. Kenneth Okonkwo outlined so many issues while he's leaving Mr. Peter Robi, one of which was his inability to solve the issue in the Labour Party. And the major reason he stated is that Peter Robi was unable to sustain the votes of people that voted for him in 2023 presidential election. According to Kenneth Okonkwo, Peter Obi won the 2023 presidential election after Nigerians risked their life to vote for him. But Mr. Peter Robi was unable to secure the vote of Nigerians and he allowed kleptocrats to steal his vote and unleash hardship on Nigerians. Kenneth Okonkwo described Mr. Peter Obi as weak and unable to fight the dirty politics of APC and PDP, saying that the 2027 election is already lost as P2B has not assumed the confidence that people saw in him. However, Mr. P2B has responded to Kenneth Okonkwo through Dr. Mo. You all know Dr. Moses on uh, Twitter. He's a very close ally to Mr. P2B. He took to his Twitter account to uh, share the response of Mr. Peter Obi to Kenneth Okonkwo's statement. Now, let's listen to what Mr. P2B has to say. Dr. Mo was particularly worried about Kenneth Okonkwo leaving the Labour Party and Mr. Pitobi. Of course, we know that Kenneth Okonkwo is a very big asset and he expressed his worry to Mr. Peter Obi. Remember, a young, vibrant man, Isaac Balami, has equally left the Labour Party to join the APC. Peter Obi replied, in quote, Mo, Kenneth, Balami and others remain my beloved younger brothers who in due time we realize the virtues of humility and patience in trying to do things in a peaceful manner. In Nigeria, he continued, we have become all too accustomed to rascality and forcefully doing things, making noise and bulldozing our way through, even where we are wrong. This behavior is often mistakenly seen as a measure of power or greatness. However, that yastic must not continue to define us, because that is not the society we want to build. The society we preach is one that values doing things the right way, with integrity, patience and perseverance, even if it takes time. We must shift our mindset and recognize that the true greatness lies not in loud boasts or aggressive action, but in quiet confidence, humility and a commitment to excellence. By doing so, we can create a more just, equitable and prosperous nation for all. He continued, Mo, we all joined the Labour Party about 18 months ago. We spent the first year on campaigns, election and court proceedings. And now, I'm expected to become a superman, scattering everything and achieving instant results. He continued, I appreciate the passion and understanding of the Bidjan and plead with them to let us be the example we want to see in our society. This is not the first time I've faced such challenge situation. In fact, this has been my trajectory in life. I'm actually energized when people think I'm weak and try to walk all over me for doing the right thing. Mo, all I can assure you is that doing the right thing is not a sign of weakness. Humility and patience are virtues, not weakness. It is a long journey and I'm committed to it. I encourage the obedience to do the same. Let us walk this path together. With faith and perseverance, we will get there and our effort will be worth it in the end. Thank you very much. I hope you listened to Mr. Peter B carefully and I hope you took note of all the words he said. But before I continue, there is something I want to bring to our notice. When Peter B started his campaign, 
2022 there was something he was fond of saying that we need to destroy the structure of criminality we need to take the power from those that have it and give it to those that don't have it but there was one profound words of his i am not desperate to be president i am desperate to see nigeria work i am not desperate to be president i am desperate to see nigeria work and these are mr Pritobi to be core principles and you need to understand that nigeria is currently being run by criminals nigeria is having a criminalized system of government every facet of our country our institution is criminalized you have to bulldoze your way to get to the top you have to steal to get to the top you have to be corrupt to make it in nigeria and that is the reason that mr Pitobi don't want to associate himself with remember Pitobi B left pdp and there was a reason why he left pdp he left pdp because he could not partake in their criminalized primaries most of you, you might have heard that during primaries in Nigeria that most of these aspirants do pay money to get votes from these stakeholders to vote for them to get the ticket of their party. But it was Mr. Pitobi that opened our eyes to the dollarization in the primaries in Nigeria. Mr. Pitobi told us that during the primaries you will see dollars flying around. But he didn't want to partake in that criminality. That was the reason why he left the PDP. He didn't want to partake in their structure of criminality. Why did he leave? Because he didn't want to continue in the criminality in Nigeria. Again, Peter B has made it known that he's not desperate to be president. And everyone that is following Mr. Peter B should have this at the tip of their finger. I am not desperate to be president. A desperate person is somebody that will grab it and snatch it. A desperate person is somebody that will kill everybody just to become president. A desperate person will cause riots whenever he loses an election. In 2011, when Goodluck and Bele Jonathan won the election, his opponent then, President Muhammad Dubari, made a statement. He said, blood and baboons will soak in blood. And his supporters went on the street and main key destroying properties worth millions of naira. And people that were killed in that post-election violence were majorly coppers. These are young Nigerians that would have changed the face of our country, but they were killed because someone lost an election. And of course, it didn't end there. They did all level of violence and they grabbed power in 2015. But grabbing that power, did it solve Nigeria issue? Absolutely no. It compounded Nigeria issue. And today, President Muhammad Buhari is being remembered as a colossal failure. I don't think any one of you would like to be associated with President Muhammad Buhari. That is the worst president we have ever seen. Of course, Bola Tinibu is showing that he wants to overtake President Muhammad Buhari in ineffective governance in just one year in office. If you followed Mr. Pitobi political history, Pitobi is not the kind of person that wants to get himself involved with all this level of rascality. Pitobi is not the kind of person that wants to cause riot when he loses an election. He lost an election. Oh, I next said he lost an election in Anambra State. What did he do? He went to court and then the court was stable. The court was impartial. The court was the hope for the hopeless, the voice for the voiceless. And he regained his mandate. If Pitobi had met that same court he met in 2007, in 2023, I am sure he would have reclaimed that mandate but you saw how the court was bacchanized but you saw how the court was captured and they delivered a disjointed judgment in 2023 it is not mr peter B's fault if you are expecting mr peter Ruby to cause riot because he was defeated in an election according to INEC, that is not the kind of person that mr peter B is he has stated it explicitly clear I want to change this criminality in this country. This country is involved in so much criminality. There is so much bastardization in our political system. Everybody wants to grab it and run. Everybody wants to involve themselves in criminal activities just to be in power. That is not the kind of person I am. I want to change the face of politics in this country. And I'm sure Kenneth Okonko was aware of Mr. Pitobi's statement. Maybe he did not understand it. Or maybe he mistook Mr. Pitobi to be one of those criminal politicians that he supported in two 2015 of course he supported apc in 2015 but why did he run away he ran away because apc did not represent the choice of the people anymore that was the reason why he joined the labor party but again, Kenneth Okonkwo needs to understand that Nigeria is deep-rooted in corruption. Not only those in power, not only politicians, but every institution in our country, they are deep-rooted in corruption. But it takes time to change this. 
And for that to work, it's not about leaving the man that has promised to change it. It's about working with him. It's about putting all your effort and energy, your resources. We just conducted an election just barely one year. And you're leaving him because you did not see the necessary result. That's not how things are done. You don't expect him to do things automatically like a superpower in one year. People have been met an already existing party that have been existing for 20 years on ground. You don't expect him to go right there and change everything overnight with just a word from his mouth. Things are not done that way, Kenneth Okonkwo. The party structure is not being run by Mr. P2B. The party structure is being run by people that have been on ground for ages. And these are the people that know the in and out of the Labour Party. You don't expect Mr. P2B to go out there and chase all the leadership in Labour Party and give it to you. That's not how things are being run, Mr. Kenneth Okonkwo. It needs time. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of strategy. It needs a lot of collaboration. Because if you go without grabbing, snatch it and run away with it, you might destroy the same labor party you are trying to build. Patience, perseverance is all that is needed. And with what Mr. Peter B is doing, Peter B is doing the right thing. And all he needs is the support of everyone. Leaving Mr. Peter B is giving his op opponent more tools to keep fighting him. He's giving his opponent more tools to keep breaking his rank. Now that you have left Peter Robi, where else will you go to? Who in Nigeria is going to give you that assurance that I'm going to run a government that is free from corruption? Come on, we are talking about a man that ruled a state for eight years without stealing one naira from the state coffer. Tell me one politician in this country that you are going to identify yourself with that will not or will say that he has not stolen one naira from the government coffer. Peter B is the best man you will ever work with. And to you, Kenneth Okonkwo, don't allow your political career to be destroyed. Obedience gave you the platform. Obedience gave you the name and the recognition that you currently have currently now. People know you as an actor. They know you as that legendary Nollywood actor. But they didn't know you as a politician. Obedience gave you that platform, they gave you that voice, they elevated you. I don't think there is any political party that you will go to that will give you that same number of relevance and recognition that Obedience gave to you. Be careful, the road is very slippery. Be careful. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.